Alright, Monday, October 4th, about 2.53 in the afternoon, a little wind blowing. Not hot, not cold. Woods are still nice and wet. This is a rough place to hunt, that's a good thing. About 3.22 so far, I've only seen one fox squirrel. Seen him as soon as I went in the woods, I spooked him. But anyway, I'm going to show you something here. Right, now, I was in here last year with that HM2 with that knife force scope. Right, you see back to yonder? Now the leaves are still on. But even now, you can see through there pretty good. So when these leaves get off, this is a this is an ambush site. All you gotta do is find him. And you have to laser some of these now because you can shoot way on over yonder. Okay, definitely get 125 yards out of one of them guns right here, okay? Maybe a little more, especially right through there. It ain't the easiest to find on the ground all the time. You hope they sort of perch themselves up. I shoot them a lot of times when they're digging. But that's risky, you know? They bob that head, those bodies going up and down. All right, about 342. P.M. We're going to sit here for a little while. There's some beach here. There's probably not a lot of squirrels just right here real close to me, but right out to, right out through there a little ways. But I'm going to let it get a little later and listen. I heard something fall down that direction. Okay, I've got this Nexus. Element Nexus. The first local plane scope. Now I'm showing this camera right here. Y'all can see that sun and you might be able to gauge how bright these woods are right now. Okay. Level 7 light on that scope right now on power number 8 looks real good, okay? So you do have a daytime brightness light set you can use on this scope. It's bright enough you see it real good, okay? 9 and 10, 8 is probably doable. 9 and 10 are too bright. You start getting bleed over out of the, out of the cross, okay? But now if it was brighter, you know, if I was on a beach somewhere in the summertime, I could probably turn it on 9 and 10 and it wouldn't get that bleed over. Okay. So, so far, I'm liking this scope. It's a little different, but long range shooting, boys, when you start getting out past 90 yards, it makes this little HM2 right here hum, okay? I can tell you that right now. It makes it hum better than that Max 10 Power 94 scope I got. Now this rectangle in this scope is, I guess you could say it's not too thin on the lower set. I mean, it probably is, but it's not like probably some scopes. Some scopes, you first focal plane, if you put it on five power, you probably couldn't even see a crosshair in it if you studied on it. And then when you get out to, like I've shot this thing on 15, 18 power, it looks real good, okay? Not a lot of reticle sub tension, you know, it's not crowding your target. A spira at a hundred yards looks real good, okay? You can see the you can see the whole bird have the crosshair on it. I've looked at them. Different things I look at with it to try to gauge it. You hear him up in there. if you've seen me. See if it's a wild hoot. Yeah, that may be what this squirrel scared us. Boy, he's a big one, boy. Listen to him. See if he'll hoot again. I'd be scared of that right there. I wouldn't be worried about me. That's the only squirrel I shot at. Shot three times. First shot he moved, and I didn't touch him, but he had a chicken hawk come in on him. Just about when I was ready to pull the trigger, boys, there's a big old hawk, and I'm in some cedars here, too. 
So then the second shot he moved again, except that time I caught him on that leg right there, boys. You talking about getting stirred up in a tree. He was a barking. And I shot him under the throat there. Last shot. One squirrel. I didn't see very many squirrels, boys, and I could slip around in here. These woods are good and wet. I could slip, but now I did see one more squirrel right here with him, but he went down, he went down in there. Probably wouldn't have killed this one if I wouldn't have heard him eating a nut. But now it's awful tranquil weather here. It's nice to be outside, but it don't seem like the squirrels are stirring too good.